Innovators, scientists and research are heroes who are usually behind the scenes. Today we are joined by Dr. Mohammed bin Salim Al-Alawi, who is a consultant of liaison psychiatry at Sultan Qaboos University Hospital to talk about the 72nd Lindau Nobel Laureates meeting that happened in Germany. Good morning, Dr. Mohammed. Good morning, Ahmed. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Hope you're having a blessed morning up to now. And congratulations yep. on being one of the two representatives of the Sultanate of Oman. You are joined also by Dr. Faris bin Abdullah al-Farsi, who is a medical doctor at Sultan Qaboos University Hospital as well. And you both participated in these amazing meetings. So first of all, for our listeners, can you give us an update? What are the Lindau Nobel Laureate uh, prizes or meetings, let me say, and where did this year's meeting happen? Yeah, so uh, Lindau uh, Nobel Laureate Meetings Institute um, hold this uh, meeting with usually young scientists along with Nobel Laureates uh, mm-hmm. from different disciplines. Uh, and every year um, it has certain themes. So this uh, year themes is medicine. So uh, that's why we are uh, two doctors had uh, joined the meeting this year and has been uh, nominated. Uh, and it happened in uh, Lindau, Germany, a small, beautiful uh, island in Germany. Mm-hmm. That is that is nice to know. So we do want to know, what was the application process? How did you get nominated to participate in such meeting? Yeah, good question. Um, so usually what happened uh, is that the uh, Ministry of Higher Education Research and Innovation would send and um, application announcement to different institutions uh, across the country, and then uh, there are obviously um, you know certain uh, uh, criteria for uh, applicants, including you know first age it has to be young uh, scientist, and then uh, since young scientist it means that uh, somebody who has interest and done and published research mm-hmm. or uh, uh, also, a recommendation letter, obviously, from a supervisor, uh, mm-hmm. and a personal statement indicates uh, a motivation of the applicants to attend the meeting. Mm-hmm. So, so, and then you obviously apply. Um, it's very swift um, um, electronic system, and then you get um, a call if your application uh, is successful. So, once that's done, it's a multi stage, obviously, application in the Minister of Higher Education. Then it goes to Lindau, where it will be filtered uh, further. And then yes. you get the final um, call and selection by the Lindau uh, Institute. Okay, so Lindau Institute selected you 25 to 30th of June. You were in the Lindau meetings. What was the experience like? Describe it to us. Uh, it was a great experience to have had the opportunity, first of all, to represent uh, the country um, and to be uh, educated, to connect with and inspired by Nobel laureates and colleagues from across uh, uh, the fields of medicine, obviously, uh, starting from basic scientific research to uh, transitional and um, uh, more clinical research. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess uh, it was um, surreal uh, in the sense that you are walking away in Lindau, for example, and then you stumble by a Nobel laureate, and then you have a chat with them mm-hmm. about their personal journey uh, and also about their career, obviously. So there, there there was a lot of um, inspiration, a lot of learning happened during uh, this uh, last meeting. Mm-hmm. As as per what we have understood, that there were about forty Nobel laureates available and six hundred young scientists, as yourself. Yeah, that that that's true. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And of course, that is what you said, is that there was a big opportunity for learning, for engagement and building upon that. So we do want to know what were the main themes and highlights at Lindau meetings? What, what did they look like? What can a participant expect when he attends a meeting of Lindau? Yeah, so obviously there are a number of uh, panel discussions, workshops, um, talks, lectures, agora talks, mm-hmm. science walk and uh, interestingly enough, work out with uh, early morning workout with uh, Nobel laureates. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so that was very interesting, and and the 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 island is very conducive for that. The weather was very conducive for that, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, different themes in terms of the uh, discussion and the topics included um, accessibility and diversity and science, mm-hmm. uh, climate change and medicine, um, the AI um, and medicine as well. Also, marginal topics like um, the importance of mentorship, and there were um, more, you know, uh, side uh, discussions about um, personal advice for for young scientists as well. Yeah, so all these beautiful themes and panel discussions that happened as well. And you did mention something interesting, that your morning started really early. You had exercises with Nobel laureates. So how was the feeling when you go through such things? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it basically highlights a number of things, including, you know, that those are human beings like us, mm. and they need to maintain their physical and mental well-being. And also it, it, it highlights and it underscores the importance of physical and mental health in order to sustain yourself in the journey of scientific inquiry and contribution. Yes, so now, Dr. Mohammed, you went over there, you in, you actually benefited, learned, and also had a bit of, let's say, motivation. Now, you came back to the local, back here to the Sultanate of Oman, to the local arena. How can we better promote science and innovation within the youth, or within youth here in the Sultanate of Oman? How can we get them on that ride to be interested, to be intrigued when it comes to science and innovation? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, uh, I, I think I, I have still a long way to go, uh, and obviously improving my skills, working on, on myself, um, collaborating radically with other uh, uh, professions and other uh, uh, fields and researchers from different fields, um, That that that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, and uh, definitely for, for young scientists, I, I, I don't really uh, like the advice, but I would say at a personal level, it's very important for people to do science for science. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, persistence, being patient, um, having long-term vision, uh, expecting setback, um, uh, sit, uh, setbacks and, and obviously uh, failure as a part of the process. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the scientific inquiry, most of the Nobel laureates, they would tell you nobody sits there and thought they will win Nobel laureate, uh, Nobel uh, Prize. They they work for for the science, and then you know something great happened, like winning Nobel or uh, Nobel um, uh, Prize. Mm-hmm. Um, but and that, that's something uh, to be uh, humbled by. And and you know one of the things that I I found intriguing uh, among most of them um, when I met them was that. They were very humble, and mm-hmm. that's the science. You know, when you, you learn how much you, you know the limit the limitation of what you know, but also how much you don't, mm-hmm. and that that's something really great. So yeah, uh, so resistance, mm-hmm. collaboration, um, looking for a mentor, obviously. Uh, System related, I would say, uh, the system has to be uh, supported. There has to be a platform for uh, research mm-hmm. and encouragement um, in terms of tangible or intangible uh, rewards from yes. the stakeholders, uh, for sure. Yes, exactly. And science does humble you indeed, of course, and does make you want to learn more. So any final advice or any final words that you'd like to share within this interview? Yeah, I, I would say, um, you know, scientific inquiry um, never ends. It, it keeps you excited. It keeps you engaged and motivated. So for uh, whoever is interested in science, hooray right, for you. And for those who are uh, not, maybe you want to experience doing a research with a supervisor or with a colleague and see how it, it goes. And, and one day you might be... Um, you know, uh, you might come across the serendipity of research of finding something that's meaning for you, but for the people and this society at large. 
Okay, finally, we would like to congratulate you, Dr. Mohammed bin Salim Al Alawi, for representing the country. You are a consultant of liaison psychiatry at Sultan Qavus University Hospital. Congratulations to you, and also congratulations to Dr. Faris bin Abdullah Al Farsi, who is a medical doctor as well. You both did as well and represented the country in the highest form and manner. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, thank you, Ahmed. Thank you.